Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Transport Fever 2, a game we haven't played since November. But we are back today and we're going to continue from where we left off. I'm just going to pause the game real quick before we lose any more money. Uh, yeah, we're going to continue from where we left off. And the uh, last episode was we did a train line that runs from Los Angeles down here to El Monte. So we could bring the bread and stuff that we were making down to there. And today, what we're going to do is connect El Monte to Arlington over here. Effectively connecting these two railroads together. So we're probably going to move this railroad station around. Uh, we need to get the oil from over here. Um, most likely, I'll probably take it from here. And then run it up here to the El Monte oil refinery. And then from the oil refinery, we will take it back to town to transport over here to the fuel refinery, which turns it into fuel, which Arlington needs. And that's pretty much what we're going to do. And one thing I've got to do first, though, is I made a mistake in the last episode. So this little train right here, I put the gondolas on it. And the gondolas won't carry bread. They carry wheat. For some reason, I was thinking I was carrying wheat. But no, we need to carry the actual bread, and I have the wrong cars on that. So we are going to take this train, we're going to turn him around, have him go back into the depot, and I'll probably end up having to wait around for some cash because I may not be able to do this just real quick, but we will get this done here. Into the depot he goes, we have 161000 to work with. I'm going to pause the game real quick while we manage this vehicle. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look into that. So let's see. Uh, let's do edit selected vehicle. So we are going to sell these. There we go. And I don't think I got any money at all for that. Uh, let's see. And we're going to put the cargo. We're going to put these on there. So one, two, and three. All right. So that's only going to cost us 57549 Now I was kind of thinking, maybe I could put a couple of tanker cars on that. And then maybe run the line so that it runs right past the oil refinery. That is a thought. Um, do I want to do that? No, you know, I think I'm going to keep it just these three. And then we'll figure it out from there. So if we modify that right there. And we unpause and then put him back on the line, which is going to be this line here. All right. Out the door he will come. And he's going to run down that way, but I was kind of hoping. Let's see. This does connect to this, right? Yeah, I think we have to let it run through once before they'll start bringing the stuff over here to this. Yeah, we're, we're going to have to wait for it to actually get some stuff here. So, that's a train line for no reason whatsoever. Alright, now, coming back down to here. Yeah, so what I kind of was thinking was maybe since we're coming right past this refinery anyway, I was kind of thinking about maybe just having the train go up here and stop and then head on its way. But, yeah, we're probably not going to do that. Alright, we're just going to have to wait for some cash here in a little bit. And then things should get going. Alright, looks like we got two new vehicles available now. The American horse-drawn carriage with side stakes and the American covered horse-drawn carriage. Now, these are a little bit better than what we have been using. Just only slightly, but uh, they're one mile per hour faster. And they will actually carry, I think, five loads instead of one. So if we go in here and we go to buy vehicles, we go to cargo. Yes, so this is the one we're using right now. It has a capacity of four and is 11 miles per hour. This one right here, the covered, will carry all cargo. has a capacity of five and is 12 miles per hour. This one only covers once. Only certain kinds of things that the uh, side stakes will carry. And it's 12 miles per hour with a capacity of five as well. So I'm not sure what the difference is between these two other than one only carries certain types and one carries all. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the difference is going to be. But yeah. Okay, here comes our train back. And it looks look like we do have some actual food here. So that should pick that up. 
and take that down to El Monte now and that line is now working fine and everything is fixed with that uh, we've got wheat up here that is sitting waiting to head out and these should be bringing the food back down here all right we also have four hundred ninety two thousand dollars that's pretty good well, let's go ahead and get started down this way with what we want to do so let's go with vehicles let's get in here we're going to put a truck station in over here and i'll probably maneuver this so that it is right in there best we can ninety four thousand right there that's good all right we're gonna go with that and then let's go ahead and go up here to the refinery we're gonna need to put another one up here if we put it right here that's only gonna cost me ninety seven thousand not too bad now I think we can cut this road off a little bit here as well so if we take this road out say to here and we're gonna rebuild that road using this one here let's see so that should connect up here yeah right there uh, let's do that All right. we put that there I'm pretty happy with that it's gonna cost me a little bit of cash but that's a much shorter route now uh, we are also going to need a road depot down here too because we don't have one now I'm thinking for the road depot that is right right yeah road depot uh, that's the tram depot okay so we'll just maneuver this there's a little bit of space in here that we can kind of get this right in there so if I hold down the shift key and I can get precise measurements there put that right in there and we are out of cash which means I gotta wait okay another four hundred and some thousand dollars now we can actually maneuver this in here the way we want and I don't know why it's wanting to put a building there when I was trying to build something there but right that that should work all right let's jump in here buy some vehicles I'm gonna go with these horse-drawn carriages and I'm gonna grab about I think I'm gonna need about eight of these no oh, damn that's 260,000 but it is what it is we are going to need that Let's go ahead and put a line that runs from here to here and another new line that's going to run from here up to here all right and then we head back down here to the road depot we grab four of these vehicles and we assign them to that one and the rest of them we will assign to that line all right now that should be bringing in oh look there's already oil here so we should take the uh the crude oil from here that it's being from the wells we're going to take that up to el monte to here and then these trucks are going to carry it up to here and then bring it back as refined oil all right, looks like we just got three more, three more new vehicles. Uh, we got the American Stagecoach, the Nora Castle, and the passenger car with clear story for our trains. Hmm, interesting. All right, now we have a little over $400,000 once again, and we're going to do a little bit of work here. So I pause the game, and the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to delete our train tracks right here, and we are going to add some new train tracks in here. That are going to come from actually i need to go into that configure we need to add tracks here on this side this side and this side okay all right and then go in the trains and connect that up to that there we go okay and Let's take a look at line three, manage line. Could not connect all stations, why not? Okay, uh, that's weird, but we'll just completely redo that. So if I connect that one, and this one up here once again, there we go. All right, now that should fix that problem. Now there are no warnings, and there we go. All right, now we have a little over 700,000, which I think might be enough to do another train line. 
possibly. But the first thing we're going to have to do is move a platform. So currently we have the Louisville coming into Arlington down here, right here. And I think the train station would be better over here because then we can connect both cities to here. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a cargo station. I think right down here. That's probably going to be the best option. Yeah, if I put the station right here, that's 182,000. Let's actually delete this road here. And then take this road. And I want to put it right there. That will go. And then we'll connect that to that. And that to up here. Well, I guess that's going to have to do it. It's a little off, but that's fine. All right. And then we should be able to connect our train track from here over to up here. Okay, so we got that fixed. Yeah. Let's go ahead and run a train track down through here. This shouldn't be too hard, but we will see. Let's see. I can probably do it to there. Yeah, that looks good. And we're going to run out of money before we even get halfway there. That should go right down that valley with no problems, but I don't know. Uh, Alright, we'll connect that, and then we will have to wait until we get some more cash here. Alright, and now we have 343000 which might do the job of finishing this up. Let's find out. So, if I run this down this way... See, that's what I was afraid of. I don't want it to do that. And it's going to do that. I don't want it to. That didn't look like that would be that sloped, but it is. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to run it around, which I didn't want to do. All right, so what if we take and we put the track right here? I didn't try to connect it up to that. Okay, that... That works. Let's check mark that. And then see if that will connect to that. Too much slope. Too much slope. Okay. Well, what if we back this off a little bit? Again, too much slope. But is it? Oh, it's not too much slope. We just don't have the cash for that. But that would actually work. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to need some... This should work. I'm just going to need a little more cash just to finish the line. Plus, we also have to add a train to it. So, another 500000 or so will probably work. Okay, let's see if we can do this on 615. Alright, so this should connect to there now. Yes, it does. Perfect. Okay, now we have this lane. line is now finished up here. And... Let's see here. For that, we are going to need... Wait, is this connected? This is not. I was kind of hoping it would be. So I guess what we'll do is go ahead and put a truck stop in right in this area somewhere. Which I kind of like doing it here. I wonder if I can do a road that comes around, if that will then connect to that. You know, it's worth a shot. Let's actually try it. So let's do a street and have this street connect down through here, like so. And then let's go with a curved road. All right, if I do that, does that connect to that? It does not, it still doesn't connect. Well, it was worth a shot anyway. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and put, uh, am I gonna have enough? Probably not, I was gonna try to put a truck stop in there, but I don't know if I'm gonna have enough money Okay, I think I like putting it right there. So that's probably going to work for me right there. All right, so I was looking at this, and I found a better way to actually do our uh, truck stations here. So if we put this, like, right here, it hits everything. So this one truck station is perfect. So I went ahead and deleted the other two that I placed down. So yes, that was a little bit of a waste of money. But this actually works so much better right there. Now, I think, let's go ahead and put in a train depot over here. 
which uh, yes, that's what I wanted like to do. So let's do a buildings. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Train depot, and I'm going to put it probably yes, right in there. So I'm going to put the train depot over in there. We're going to add another platform in here. So platform cargo. Let's do that. 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 And that. And then we'll add some tracks in here too. Okay. All right. And then from here, I'm going to delete these tracks. And go back over here. And we're going to connect these tracks to this side instead. Yep. There we go. And then we'll connect some tracks that go up in here as well. There we go. Okay. Now, I don't think I have enough to make a train, so can't do that. What I can probably do, though, is actually fix this so this train track comes in over here instead of over there. So we might have enough money for that. So I take this line right here, run it across the road here, like so, and then bring it over here. So then like that, run that across the road to say there, then that actually probably works. Yes. All right. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to delete this train depot here. And I am going to connect this line right here. Let's see. Uh, that line. Manage line. Let's add a train station to this. So let's add this one. There we go. And let's take the Arlington one out. There we go. And I'm pretty sure that all of these down here are not going to connect, but they might. Let's see. Does that see that one? It does not see that. That's a bit of a pain. But that's okay. I can still work with this. We're going to delete this train station and all of those tracks right there. And then we are going to run out of money again. Yep. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at this line here. Yeah, because that runs pretty much everything down in there. All these factories need that. What we could do is make a line that runs from here over to here. That's... That's something we can maybe do. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking we're probably going to take all of these lines right here. And let's see. That one goes from there to there. So instead of coming up to here, we have it go to... We take off this one. And add this one. Okay. All right. And then let's take a look at the other line here. That one goes from there to there. So we manage that line. We take out this one and add that station. Why don't we have both of these lines going to the same place? I guess one's taking lumber and one's taking steel. Yeah. Okay, that's, I guess that's fine. And then this line over here bring the lumber in. So what we can do here, let's take this last wood line, take out that one, and add this one over here. There we go. Okay. That should work much better, I think. And then, I still have a little bit of money left, so what we can do is then take, and we can do like truck unloading stops like right in here. Like I could put one like right here and it would get most of this city. They all want fuel though. And we're actually not un okay, I don't even need to do that cuz nothing in this town needs what we're giving them right now except for this over here needs that. 
And yeah, I can totally do this. So let's see if every bit of this needs the fuel. What if we put it down here somewhere? That actually hits everything. Right there. We can do a truck unloading stop right there. And then eventually all I have to do is just put in a line for that. And that should work. And I can delete this truck stop. Bam. All right. Because those cost me money. So I might as well go ahead and delete them. The longer they're there and if they're not being used, they're going to cost me money. So best to just get rid of them and be done with it. And yeah, I think... That will probably work. And then what we're going to do is then put a line in there that's at least one of these. Maybe I could do two cars. Do I have a truck depot? I do have a train or a road depot. So let's go ahead and buy a couple of these more strong carriages. And each of those is 32,000. So I guess I won't be buying any of those right yet. Okay, but at least we've got our lines kind of figured out here. So let's unpause the game get a little bit more cash a kid and then finish this up okay i don't have a whole lot of money but we do definitely need to try to get a train on this line right now so let's see what we can do let's go with a steam let's see so we were using the general which is 28 miles per hour Ooh, he's expensive that one's even more expensive the baldwin class let's see 37 miles per hour 27 we just we don't have enough for that one so we're gonna go with the general i guess and oh man this is gonna cost me so much so we need to transport uh a tanker basically and ooh, that's gonna cost me 883 right there just for two tanks um if i go with three that's one million and 87 all right can I borrow another $500,000? I can. Ugh. As much as I hate to do that, I think that's going to be our only choice here. And we can get three of these in there. If I buy one more tanker, that's going to put me just over what I need. Let me play the game out and see if I can get another $30. I just need... Yes. Okay. Oh, no. We just went... We dropped a little bit there. I just need a little more. Nah, we're just going to drop. Okay, so I'm going to guess drop that one. We'll go with three tanks and a train. We'll buy that. And I need to put a line that's going to be running from... Do we have a line on this way? Uh, no, we don't. Let's add a line that's going to grow from here to here. There we go. Okay, that should do the job. All right. It's also purple, which is perfect for my oil. All right, and we have this train in here. So let's attach this train to this line. And let her rip. Again, I wanted to use the bald one. But we'll have to use what we have. All right, we got another couple of vehicles available. The Frontenac, which is a ship. And we got another train, the 26 Mogul. So, all right, we're moving up in time here. And I have a problem. For some odd reason, I can't seem to get my oil that's been refined here to go to the train station and from there to over here. I don't know why that is. So, the only thing I can think of is I have to put. A truck supply over here and actually do it that way so I guess borrow another 500,000 as much as I hate to and we will go down here we will put a truck station in up here and let's see and these guys want the fuel oh oh you know what I think I know what it is we never did put the thing where it actually requires the fuel over here so that's why it's not probably not bringing it over here because they don't have a supplier Ah, okay. Well, maybe we can fix that a little bit easier. All right, and if I do, let's do a couple of these. Like that. Okay, let's do two, just to start out. And let's do uh, a line that runs from 
here. Over to here. That might actually do the job. Uh, oh, that's a bus stop? Wait, I put a bus stop in? Did I? See, I figured out what I did wrong here. I was trying to connect this up to here, right? And I messed up. <laughs> Oops. Uh, right. And then instead of doing a new line, like I was trying to do, which should be this to this. There we go. See, that should work now. Okay. And I accidentally clicked on the wrong line. Instead of clicking new line, I clicked on the, that line and was trying to edit that and make that work. But now, now we should be good. All right. And hopefully everything will work at this point. Okay. That still hasn't done the trick. It is still not working. So I'll try one more thing here. I'm going to try to do... Uh, let's do a truck station up here as much as I hate to I want to put it like right here okay and then let's see if that maybe works okay finally figured it out all right so I guess that was the problem the entire time is that we just even though they're white they're still too far apart to uh, to work which is very odd. All right, but now this should be going. Hopefully, anyway. Okay, yep, looks like we have the oil right here at the El Monte station. So now we just have to wait for the train to come and get it, take it up there, and produce the fuel. Okay, there we go. Now, it's loaded up with fuel. It's taking seven, which uh, looks like it's probably full on that. I would have thought that could hold more. Maybe it can. All right. And then that little train right there is going to go all the way down here. Deliver it down here. And it should go straight to the fuel refinery to produce the fuel which our town needs. All right. Here comes the train. Let's see how much we actually get from one load of seven of those. About 100,000 looks like. Yeah. Looks like it took me down to 100,000. So maybe we can get some more. And in here, this train just arrived, which jumped me up to 146,153. All right, so hopefully with any luck, we are now making a profit again. All right, we got a busy little station here, which uh, this one seems to be making us more money than any other station we've got. And we are currently up to 414,000 and earnings are good. I think we've done it for this episode. Looks like we've got fuel waiting to be delivered here. So um, I, th I think we've got it. So I think that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, I think the next time what I'd like to try to do is we've got this train right here, which is running from here. It's going from Arlington to El Monte, and it's not carrying anything. It's only carrying things from El Monte to Arlington, but not the other way around. So looking at what El Monte needs, which is going to be bricks. So if there's something that we could carry from there to here that would produce something. And that would be great. And we also have, I think, the train that goes, yeah, from the train that goes from El Monte to LA isn't carrying anything back either. And they need, what do they need? Mostly just wheat up here. Well, they need tools. You know, if we can maybe figure out a way to get them tools, that could maybe do something. Um, they also need tools and machinery I think is what they need so uh, I'm not seeing a way to get that anywhere let's see we, oh we do make the tools down here so if we had a way to maybe get more wood down here maybe I don't know we're carrying a lot of wood uh, I think we can figure something out for this so that's probably going to be the next episode, is figuring out lines. That way we're making a profit back and forth instead of just one way. Um, one thing we could probably get is if we can find a way to get maybe the rock over here so that we can make the brick, then that would be good. Uh, oh, looks like there's actually concrete or brick or stone or something over here that would go great for that. 
Um, but is there, again, is there something we can carry over here that will work a little better? Got the planks here. The lumber brings the planks over there. So this is all self-contained for this. And they just need steel, which they're getting the steel from up there. And there's nothing over here that's being made that we can do. Well, we do have some lumber here. And a sawmill over here. Something we could maybe do is maybe send that that way, maybe. That 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 could maybe work. We could maybe send some uh, some planks or lumber or something over here. That way, we can get that working a little faster. I'd like to get some maybe some more steel in here somewhere. Oh, down here. Steel's over there. Steel over here. I need the uh, the rock over here. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to try to figure that out for the next episode. Uh, but that's going to do it for this one. You guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. It's good to be back playing some more Transport Fever 2 again. Uh, I've missed this game. I just haven't had the chance to actually get into it and really play because I've been playing a ton of Satisfactory, trying to get back into uh, Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, everything else that I've got going on. And it's hard to play so many games and get the videos and stuff out for you guys. But... Hopefully you do enjoy this one. I will see you in the next video, wherever you are in the world. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.